Another tactic in today's game is to take the ball early. Not necessarily hitting harder, but contacting the ball on the rise further inside the court. Here we set up a four ball oscillation, setting up the rope zone just behind the baseline to guide hitter movement. Players have to stay in front of the rope zone. On the other side, we have set up side to side target areas. Players are instructed to only switch targets when they have hit one of the sides three times in a row. This drill focuses on playing what used to be called no man's land. In today's tennis, more and more balls are played from this area, but seldom is midcourt play practiced. Low volleys, half volleys, high volleys, and short ground strokes can be practiced, and players have to remain in the rope zone area created in the midcourt. This is an exercise for all levels of play, since beginners inadvertently get stuck here and advanced players attack from the baseline and move into this area to take charge of the point. Closing out points quickly is the mark of successful play. In this moderate to heavy movement drill, two to three players can be easily accommodated side by side. The rope zone is set up for the players to aim for the sides of the court. After each shot, players move back to touch the service line. The machine frequency is set up to keep everyone moving and the players are encouraged to contact the ball as close to the net as possible. If needed, set up a movement guide rope forcing the players to cross the rope and close in tight to the net on each shot. This fast paced shot combo drill is always a favorite. Balls land short to encourage approach shots. Target areas are set for down-the-line approach shots and angled cross-court volleys. Movement and position guides can also be established. Here we have set up boxes which the players move into to volley. The logical virtual reality drill is to score points for each combination where both balls land in the correct target area. For more advanced players, the air zone can also be added. Doubles points end quickly, at least for better players. Less experienced players hesitant to close out points will particularly benefit from this drill. The machine is set to feed challenging return of serves down the middle and the server's partner takes the shot. After that, the point is played out with all players converging at the net. For better players, the air zone can be set up and all balls must pass below the horizontal line. Rotations can take place every four points or regular games can be scored.